What's good everybody, CJ here and welcome back to more Stallcraft. In today's video, we're going to take a look at the top 5 weapons in the game. These are my personal top 5, so if you happen to have a weapon that you believe is a top tier weapon, let me know in the comment section below and also let me know why you believe it's such a good weapon. But without further ado, let's hop right into the best weapons in Stallcraft. The M16A3, a veteran rank assault rifle and in my opinion one of the best assault rifles for PvE content in the game. Its ammo type is at 5.56 which means you can use incendiary rounds. Its damage is at 34 units, its clip capacity is at 60 rounds in the clip, that is once you get the extended clip, its maximum distance is 160 meters. Rate of fire 820 shots per minute, its reload is 4.12 seconds, tactical reload at 3.64 seconds, spread at 0.51, hip fire spread at 2.41, vertical recoil at 0.3, horizontal recoil at 0.1, draw time at 1 second, and aiming time at 0.23 seconds. Now let's talk about what makes this gun so good. First off, as you heard, you can get an up rated clip that lets you hold 60 rounds in the chamber. This paired up with two things make this thing a beast. The fact that it has so many, oh so many attachment slots, giving it plus 174 stabilization, minus 57 hip fire spread, pretty nice bonus to aim speed, spread, recoil, horizontal recoil, and sway, pretty much making this thing a laser. And then when you add the fact that you have 60 rounds of incendiary ammo in the chamber, this thing is a beast. You will not have to reload for most den clears, for most fights, whether it's PvP or PvE. And yes, I know I've been talking it up in the PvE department, it's also a beast in the PvP department. Y'all didn't think that incendiary rounds in a 60 round clip was going to be something to laugh at. No, this thing is a monster in both PvP and PvE. And honestly, if you're starting off the game and you're needing to get your grind on, this is probably one of the best guns you can make in the game. The VSS Venturas, one of the best guns in the game for both PvE but primarily for PvP. This assault rifle, despite the fact that it's classified as a sniper rifle, is one of the best assault rifles in the game. With its ammo type of 9x39, damage of 39 units, clip capacity of up to 30 once you get the extended clip, a maximum distance of 165 meters, a rate of fire of 590 shots per minute, reload of 3.5 seconds, tactical reload of 2.6 seconds, spread 0.23, hip fire 2.89, vertical recoil 0.28, horizontal recoil 0.12, draw time 0.95, and aiming time of 0.23 makes this gun quite good. But here's what really makes this weapon shine, its additional properties. The stopping power makes it quite strong, but if that wasn't enough, it has a damage modifier. On headshot damage, you get a 1.5 times damage increase. This makes this gun insane. It melts players regardless of their builds if you're landing your headshots. And even though it doesn't have as many attachment slots as the M16, you're still able to get some pretty nice attachment properties as you can see with the hip fire spread at minus 43, stabilization of on plus 96, aim speed at 6.5%, recoil minus 5, draw speed plus 0.25, horizontal recoil minus 15, and sway minus 26%. Overall, when I tell you this is one of the best guns in the game, I'm not exaggerating. So many people think this gun is flat out broken, and you might want to consider building it. It is a little bit expensive, and it is a little bit hard to build when it gets to the end game, and the end game things like its clip, but overall, it's definitely worth it. The damage reduction at a distance is up to 20 meters, it's still hitting 39 units, and from 65 to 165 meters is hitting 29 units. Overall, the VSS Ventores is a gun that will do exactly what you need it to do 
and that is land those deadly headshots and clear waves of ads or players. The SVU, a veteran ranked sniper rifle and the fastest sniper in the game. Its ammo type of 7.62 means it can use expanding, incendiary, armor piercing, overall it has an insane roster of ammo types. Damage sits at 90 units, clip capacity of 15 rounds once you get the extended clip, maximum distance of 195 meters, rate of fire of 200 shots per minute, reload of 4.5 seconds, spread of 0.06, hip fire spread of 3.75, vertical recoil of 1, horizontal recoil of 0.4, draw time 1.2 seconds, aiming time 0.55 seconds. Its additional properties offer stopping power at 60 and its damage modifier gives it a 1.5 times damage increase on headshots. It does have some negative like its aim speed, draw speed and reload time, but it's a sniper you're supposed to be waiting for your shots perched up somewhere. Now what makes this sniper so good in my personal opinion? It's quite simple, two things, it's nice clip capacity and it's fast fire rate. That makes this sniper almost work like an assault rifle with increased range. It's going to allow you to do insane works in PvE, meaning if you're going for a PvE sniper, I would honestly say this is your best bet and in PvP in late game it does not fall behind simply because of its fast fire rate. Other snipers do hit harder, but the simple fact that they are bolt action snipers give this sniper a little bit of an advantage because you're able to land consistent shots before people take cover. Overall, insane sniper if you're looking for something that has a lot of range and it's able to shoot fast with multiple rounds in the chamber before having to reload, this might be the gun for you. The L96A1, a veteran ranked sniper rifle and probably the hardest hitting rifle in the game. Its ammo type of 7.62 gives it access to expanding, armor piercing, incendiary and overall the best ammo types in the game. Damage sits at 100 units, clip capacity of 5 rounds, maximum distance of 215 meters, rate of fire of 39 shots per minute. Reload at 4.75 seconds, tactical reload at 3.5 seconds, spread at 0.03, hip fire spread at 4.51, vertical recoil at 2.16, horizontal recoil at 0.62, draw time at 1.35, aiming time at 0.52. The additional properties get even better. Armor penetration at 10%, bleeding at 95%, and stopping power at 1%. 85 and if that wasn't enough it has a two times damage headshot multiplier yes guys this is one of the hardest hitting weapons in the game and i will tell you right now the whole beginning and middle part of the game you will one shot most enemies including players in late game the one shots kind of stop because most people are running vitality and bullet resistance builds but it still holds as one of the strongest and hardest hitting snipers with the longest range in the game and it's a very strong weapon if you're looking for your bolt action sniper that can just have you perched up in a tree or in a hilltop somewhere taking enemies that are super far away from you down this is the weapon for you overall a monster of a sniper and i highly advise if that is your gameplay if you're a natural sniper, this is the gun for you. The Sega 12K, a veteran ranked shotgun and one of the best, if not the best shotgun in the game. Its ammo type is a 12 caliber. Damage is 150 units, clip capacity of 8 rounds, maximum distance of 55 meters, a rate of fire of 320 shots per minute, reload of 3.43 seconds, spread of 3.71, hip fire spread of 4.3, vertical recoil of 3.1, 
horizontal recoil at 1, draw time 0.95 seconds, aiming time 0.25 seconds, with a damage modifier of 1.5 when you're dealing damage to mutants. Now, its attachments aren't the greatest, but it does offer some nice additions to the gun. And hit fire spread, stabilization, recoil, sway, and reload time. Overall, I advise that if you're trying to beat the game faster, you're trying to farm mobs, dens, enemies faster, this is a weapon you absolutely want to get. It's going to make your life so much easier. That damage to mutants is really nice. It's insane fast rate of fire. This is an automatic shotgun pretty much. And it's insane clip capacity of 8 for such a nice shotgun makes this a must have weapon. I didn't craft it until quite late. But once I did, it completely changed my life, making some of the hardest enemies, or at least the most annoying enemies, a trivial thing. Highly advise you guys craft the Sega 12 when you start off the game, or as soon as you get to the bar, and that's pretty much it for this gun. Alright, and that pretty much wraps it up. I do hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe, turn on notifications for more StarCraft content, and do be sure to join our Discord for the best NA StarCraft community. For now, I'll see you on the next one.